Hi guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to take a look at the Asus Strix ROG H470i gaming motherboard. Now I've got a series of ITX cases coming up um, and I wanted a motherboard really, um, as, as always. Um, now I usually go for the Z series, but I couldn't justify you know, £275, £300 for it. This one I got for £150, um, it's in the middle, um, there is the B460i below it, um, but you know, is it any good? What we're going to do is find out. Um, so I'm going to unbox it, going to install it, do some testing. Um, we're obviously going to update the BIOS, all that kind of stuff, um, and then see if it's a board you want to buy. Let's do it. Right, let's open this baby up. Okay, so that's the motherboard, we'll just put this one side. Right, so in here we get the uh, antenna. This is like a shark's fin. I mean, it's not what I actually prefer, as I've mentioned in, in other videos. We've got a, an audio uh, type C. We've got some SATA cables. More SATA cables. This is uh, RGB. This is an RGB cable. Uh, this is for a fan, I believe. Um, bracket for a fan. Cable ties, which are very handy. And then we've got some M2 screws. One of the best things ever that you get from ASUS um, is this, obviously your front panel um, is so much easier to do um, because with ITX especially, it is a pain. So to have this, uh, essentially what you do is you plug in all your cables as you normally would and then you plug this onto the motherboard. Um, yeah, it just saves a lot of faff, so uh, it's a very welcome. This is something to do with RGB, I think. I don't actually know but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we've got our usual bump here, user guides and warranty information. Nothing really that interesting to be, to be fair. Oh, look at that. We're not gonna be using that, are we? Has anyone in this day and age got a DVD drive? Yeah, I haven't had one for, for a number of years, so um, that's no good to us. But yeah, um, consult this. Um, you can download it as well. Um, but it is very useful, um, to be fair. So yeah. And there she is, what a beautiful board. Um, you know, obviously we can go around, we've got the PCIe slot here, put your M2s, NVMEs in there, a couple of RAM slots, SATA, uh, USB 3, got an IO and I think an RGB thing here. 24 pin motherboard, obviously have a heatsink for a VRMs and the like, CPU. Um, yeah, just uh, all general stuff. And one of the things that I really like about some of the modern motherboards, especially ASUS, is this bad boy integrated. It used to be an absolute pain in the backside having to clip them in. Um, into the frame of the case, it not always take, and yeah, it's uh, not ideal, but yeah, um, very welcome. We've got DisplayPort HDMI, obviously got our 3.0s here, LAN, we've got a couple of those. Um, didn't realise we actually had those two, but yeah, I'll put information up on the screen as to what they are. Uh, a Wi-Fi 6, and obviously all of our audio gubbins there, and obviously we've got the adapter in the, um, in the box for, for audio. So yeah, all very nice. Um, just have a look at the rear. So on, on the rear here we have an, another M2 slot. Um, I tend not to use these to be honest because with ITX typically the airflow is not very good so it's not going to get much uh, on here. Um, and also if you've got one of the new RTX cards of founders, uh, if it backs onto this it's going to just heat it up. So you know it depends on your use case really um, as to what you're going to do whether you use this. Um, but yeah it's not really something I'm going to be using. So there it is, what I'm going to do now is I'll quickly set it up with 
uh, an NVMe, some RAM, and our 10600K. Guys, so at the end of the video now, um, I really like the board. You know, it's a mid-range board. You know, it's kind of not making any bones about that. You know, if you want extra bells and whistles, then go for the Z series. Um, but for the cost, which was you know, about 150 pounds for me, um, I think it's fantastic value. You know, the RAM speed situation is not ideal. You know, um, I was running 3600 at, at 2666. You know, if you're going to spend um, decent money on 3600 RAM, you want to you know to run it at that. But you know, my use case is that I'm just going to be doing a few builds um, in ITX cases. Um, it's not going to be a, a serious kind of like full-time build, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but just bear in mind um, that the RAM you've got um, is actually compatible with your board. So go to the QVL list on the website um, and just double check um, and obviously have the latest BIOS and, and you should be okay. Um, but just expect that it won't necessarily run at its full capacity, um, which is, yeah, it's unfortunate, but you know, that's just the way it is. It's a H-series board. Um, if you want the extra, you know, kind of peace of mind, I suppose, that you'll get um, from a Z-series and spend the extra money. Um, but yeah, if you want a mid-range um, mini ITX build, this is a fantastic option. I'm really happy with it, um, and you probably will be as well. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.